There are three ways to create a new document in Microsoft Word. You can start with a blank document, you can create a new document based on an existing document, or you can create a document using a template from your computer or Microsoft Office Online or any one of a number of different template locations. When we launch Microsoft Word, we start with a new blank document. And we would create our new document by simply entering some text here in the document workspace. But you don't have to start from scratch. And if you already know what you're going to create, there isn't a reason to start from scratch. So let's take a look at some other ways that we could create new documents. First, let's go backstage, click File, and choose New. And if we already have a document that's a lot like the document that we want to create, we can use a copy of that document to create a document by simply choosing New from Existing. If you have some templates that have been stored on your computer, for example, your employer may have a template for letterhead or a template for memos, a template for fax transmittals, different templates that are customized or branded to reflect your company and your company's image in the world. So you would find those under My Templates. As you'll find later in this course, you can always create templates yourself for your frequently used documents. And then there are some sample documents that are included with Microsoft Word 2010. You can also create a blog post, and if you've used some templates recently, clicking Recent Templates will return that list to you so you can choose from that list. But I'd like to draw your attention to the wealth of templates that are available for free at Office Online at Microsoft.com. Templates that Microsoft and Microsoft vendors have created, but also templates created by users like you and me who have saved some of their best work, believing that other folks may also want to create similar documents. So we have people who've created specific calendars who think, wow, this was really hard. Maybe I can save somebody else a little bit of time. So let's take a look at some of the kind of templates that are available here for you to create more complex documents. Let's say, for example, that you're asked to create an agenda, and that's not something that you've typically created. And take a look at all of the different agendas that are available to you. Now, when you see a template that includes this small icon in the lower right-hand corner, that means it's a community template that was posted by another user. All of these templates, whether they were created and posted by users or whether they were created and posted by Microsoft, have all been checked for viruses, so there's not a problem with downloading these documents for your use. And you say, no, what I need to create is I need to create a conference agenda, and there are different tracks. Well, let's take a look at, for example, this document and see how it might help us. We'll see a small preview of that document here. It's got four out of five stars, only two votes. It's relatively new. Let's download this document and open it, and you'll notice we have a really nice-looking conference agenda that's full color that shows four different tracks happening at the same time in different halls, has dates on it, and then it's all color-coded, and you think, ah, I might like this. So you can get a head start. It would probably take you an hour or maybe even a couple hours to do all of the work that's already been done on this particular template. Let's take a look at some other templates as well. Some of my favorite templates are in the calendars. You might think, well, I use Outlook for my calendar, but what about printed calendars that you might create? Let's take a look, for example, at a 2011 lunar calendar that we could create and add our own dates to. This is a fairly large template, so we'll wait for it to download. And you'll find in here 12 pages, fairly predictable, January, February, March, and so on, that you could add company dates to and then print. So again, not the kind of document that we typically think about turning to Microsoft Word to create, but as you consider what's available to you in Word, increasingly you'll find a use for all of these different kinds of templates that you and other users have created. One last category before we leave, some really wonderful planners for use in project planning and other planning inside your business. This is the kind of document you might be asked to create fairly often, and there's a wide range of different planners, from a meal planner that could be used in a cafeteria, to an academic planner, to an event schedule, to a simple weekly appointment sheet. And so if this is the kind of information that you need, you'll find that someone has already put this together for you. Again, you don't need to create the table. You don't need to put in the numbers for the times or the days of the week. You can simply take this template and create your document having had a substantial head start provided by Microsoft and other users around the world. If you're creating a simple document, it's often easiest to start from scratch. 
but if you're creating a more specialized document, you may be able to save minutes or even hours of effort by simply stepping backstage and starting with a template from your computer or from the Microsoft Office site.